Hi, I'm Ethan Strimling, former Democratic state senator, and this is my colleague, Phil Harriman, former Republican state senator. Whoa! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> About a month ago, no, let's say two months ago, you had one state senator. The next three weeks later, you had another state senator, and now today you have another state senator. To recap real quick, what happened was we had an election in which Kathy Breen was ahead, the recount occurred, and Kathy Manchester took the lead, but in taking that lead, it appeared that there were 21 more ballots than were checked off of the manifest at the election, meaning somehow or another, 21 ballots arrived, but there were no voters behind them. When they double-checked it, it turned out the fault, dear Brutus, was not with Long Island. It was with the Secretary of State. You know, I have to say, the conspiracy theorists must be so disappointed that this turned out to be simply a clerical error uh, in the Secretary of State's office. And uh, while we could easily and perhaps we should ultimately place the responsibility for what has unfolded here on the Secretary of State's office because they are charged with elections in Maine and it is their ultimate responsibility to make sure that all elections are run fairly and, and legally. But uh, you might be surprised to hear me say this, the candidates themselves and their representatives are also responsible because there was uh, an opportunity to do another recount at the recount and the Republicans objected to, yeah. to doing that. And, and Republicans bear some responsibility for that, but I would also say, in a bipartisan fashion, if Democrats, that had happened to Democrats, they probably would have said, hey, we got those votes. I do actually have to say that I think the Secretary of State's office is the one who comes out of this with the most egg on their face. Their job, more than anything else, is to get the count right. At a recount, you're contesting ballots, you're looking for marks, you're looking for which ballot you want to take out, but the count itself is the Secretary of State's job. The simplest answer, was, of course, that there was this kind of mistake. But until we knew this mistake, the simplest answer had to be fraud, because there was no other path other than this kind of human error, which people didn't want to admit either, because it meant the seat would flip. So I, I'm not sure the conspiracy theorists were um, wrong to set up conspiracies, because that was the only path you could see. Well, I, I think there's two lessons, uh, observations, shall I say, from what has unfolded in Senate District 25. One. Kathy Manchester is probably the uh, shortest serving state senator in Maine history. Probably, perhaps. that's true, probably. Uh, and, and second, uh, credit to the Republicans who now control the Senate. They could have handled this in a much different fashion. Instead, they honored the integrity of the Maine Senate. They affirmed the confidence that voters should have in our elections, and at the end of the day, the right decision was made. And I would say that Kathy Manchester, I think, um, has a good future in front of her. Real class act, she stepped back immediately, and that was very impressive. Typical Republican. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs>